Hey friends, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the Advanced Health Assessment course in nursing. So I took this course as part of my Doctorate of Nursing Practice degree program. And I remember before the course started, I was very nervous about what to expect, what was I supposed to know, what was my clinicals gonna be like. If you are in a nurse practitioner program, this is most likely your first clinical, regardless of what track you're in. So I wanted to do an overview video to help nurses going into this course to know what to expect. And then we're gonna go through my clinical bag and I'll show you the things that you should have in your clinical bag or at least that I found helpful. So the first thing you should know is when you take the advanced health assessment course before you go to clinical, so this is the first couple weeks of the semester, you're expected to do a complete full body, head to toe history and physical assessment on a patient. This is like a 25 to 45 minute exam. It's pretty in depth and it can be really nerve wracking. So when I did this, I found the best way was to go through my resources, my book, different YouTube videos and see what all the assessments were. And usually your teacher will give you an overview and tell you what they want, but I wanted to make sure that I was hitting on all the points that I needed. So I went through and created like a two page guide that showed me step by step the things that I should be assessing. So once you pass this history and physical assessment, you are allowed to go to clinical. And when you go to clinical, you're gonna need a clinical bag. So this is my clinical bag. I just thought it was really cute, but big enough to fit everything, but not too big that I'm walking around with a giant bag. So it's up to you. You may need a bigger bag if you feel like you wanna take your laptop. I chose not to take my laptop just because I didn't know where my bag was gonna be located. I didn't think I had a locker. I just was nervous that somebody might steal it, so I didn't bring my laptop, but it is that is facility dependent. However, here's what I did bring. All right, so first thing in my clinical bag for advanced health assessment, we're gonna start with like the cool stuff and then we'll work our way down to the more obvious stuff like a stethoscope. First thing, is you can use your cell phone. However, I decided to bring my iPad and I will show you why. So this is my iPad, it's an older version. And I got this case off Amazon that has a keyboard and it's magnetic, which is pretty cool. So what I would do on my lunch breaks is I would just set up my iPad, it stands like this, the keyboard pushes forward. And I would be able to input all my clinical hours depending on your school. I don't know how you guys track it, but uh, my school tracks it uh, online in this program called Typhon and you have to put in like each patient, their demographics, their ICD codes, their diagnosis code, their billing code, like all of these different things that take a ton of meticulous time. So I would just sit, eat my lunch and put my data into here. The other thing is you can do this on your cell phone as well, but some apps that I think are particularly helpful definitely up to date. I've had some other students tell me they like Apocrates, which I also downloaded, but I found that for me, up to date was the best. I have access to up to date through my work, so that is dependent if you have access to their data, but it is awesome. It tells you like on different diagnoses, what the treatment regimens are, what the parameters are. It really is just such great information. It has all these different things like criteria of different side effects, like how you would label them. Are they stage one, stage two, stage three, stage four, mild, moderate, etc.? It's just, there's so much information for you as a provider. It's just awesome. I wish I could take all the up-to-date information and just put it in my head, especially because for me, my background is psych. I've always worked in psych. I love psych. That is my passion. That's where I belong. But in an advanced health assessment class, I was like, oh my goodness, my background is minimal. I don't, I'm a very specific specialty. So it was very nerve wracking for me going into advanced health assessment course. And I did find with obviously I had an awesome preceptor, the mixture of my preceptor and her even showing me like sometimes you don't know everything and sometimes you go to up to date and you can find out. It's just so much information, it's so great. So that is one. All right, so that is my iPad with keyboard. That's the best, we'll sit on it. So the next thing is to get yourself a notebook. Um, 
In my notebook, I have all my patient data, ICD codes, dates I saw them. I put all my health assessment data, their history, their physical assessments, allergies. And a notebook is great because I would take a page and I would put patient's data for each page and I had it set up in a certain way that it would include the diagnoses ICD code, the date I saw the patient, the time I spent with the patient, the billing code, their previous history, their age, demographics, their review of systems, then my physical assessment, any findings, any allergies, their current meds, all of those things went on my one page list which usually was a front and back for each patient. I did not include patient, obviously, in case for whatever reason my notebook gets stolen or something. I don't want that data being a violation of HIPAA, but it really was a great way to, for me to keep track of my data. And then when I went in to track my clinical hours for each individual patient, I had all that information available to me. Next thing you need is a reflex hammer because in advanced health assessment, you're going through all the systems of the body and that includes testing all the reflexes. So for that, you need a hammer. Another thing you may need is a Snellen chart. So I got a mini one. The way this one works is that you are to stand six feet from the patient and have them read and that will tell you their vision over on the side. I don't think you can see it, but it has, depending on the line, what their vision is. So Snellen chart. Also, pen light. I don't know if you can see that. So, pen light, you're checking pupils. You are also doing all the different cranial nerves, all the different extraocular motor function tests. You're moving things, you're having them follow, you're doing the six cardinal fields of vision, all of these things. So, pen light. What else? I don't know if I actually used anything in here. No, these are just scissors and clamps and things. I honestly never used these, but I had them from undergrad, so I was like, I'll just bring them. All right, and then the last thing is your stethoscope. So this is pretty basic overview. Nurses use stethoscopes a lot. So again, advanced health assessment, you are doing physical assessments of all of the body parts. So you are listening at the jugular veins for any bruise. You are listening to the lungs. You're listening to the heart. You're listening to the back of the lungs. You are listening to stomach bowel sounds. So you are using your stethoscope a lot. So those are the basic kind of things that I brought to the advanced health assessment clinicals and I found them very helpful because again, you're doing lots of health assessments, so you'll need all these tools. And I know it can be very nerve wracking going into this course, especially because it is most likely your first graduate level nursing clinical for a nurse practitioner program, which is a really is a total role change from the nurse. but. It's very exciting and I think just going into it, my first day of clinical, I told my preceptor, I'm a little nervous because I'm a psych nurse and I don't have a ton of per se medical background. I will say the unit I worked on, we did do medical stuff. It wasn't like strictly psych, but I wasn't in a cardiac ICU or something. I'd ever worked the ICU or it's like intensive medical care. so. I was a little nervous and she was just so lovely and so kind and was like, it's okay. The first day or two, you'll just shadow and watch me and we'll build from there. And I had a fantastic time and I really learned a lot. So just go into it with an open arms and open mind and it will be great. So that is what is in my health assessment clinical bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you have a great time in your advanced health assessment course and I will see you next time. Bye.